This video will show you how to adjust the printer for optimal print quality. This will include mechanical adjustments such as head pressure and pressure block positioning and menu settings that will include print intensity and print speed. You can also use the built-in print quality wizard to guide you step-by-step -step through the process. Before making changes to adjust for print quality, make sure the media and ribbon are compatible and are matched for the requirement of your application. Once the media and ribbon have been selected, it's important to adjust the printer so that there is uniform pressure across the entire printing width. As you make adjustments, you can use some of the test patterns built into the printer to confirm good print quality. Test patterns that can be used for print quality adjustments include the checkerboard and gray patterns that will help identify incorrect settings in print intensity or incorrect head pressure settings. Adjust the pressure blocks when changing to media and ribbons with a different width. The left block should be set with its handle aligned with the bold mark on the pressure block adjustment scale. The right pressure block should be positioned with its pointer near the right edge of the media or ribbon. Turn the lead screw knob clockwise to move the block right or counterclockwise to move it left. Incorrectly adjusted pressure blocks can lead to uneven darkness on the two sides. You can use the gray print test to verify the blocks are set correctly. Incorrectly adjusted blocks can also cause ribbon wrinkle. It is recommended that users adjust the print head pressure to the lowest value, which produces the desired print quality. Die cut labels usually require a setting of four, while heavy stock requires a setting of six or maximum. Head pressures may need to be adjusted when changing to a media of a different thickness. The print speed can be increased or decreased from the default value as well. For the best print quality, set the print speed to the slowest speed that will still meet your throughput needs. For the longest print head life, set the print intensity to the lowest setting that gives you good print quality. Too low of a print intensity will appear too light and can have voids. Too high of a print intensity can cause bleeding or smearing of the image or cause ribbon breakage. You can use the checkerboard pattern print test to check for voids, light printing, bleeding, or smearing. For additional T8000 product information, visit Printronics.com.